Okay, so today we're going to talk about ECG. So first, let's talk about sinus rhythm. So this is the heart, this is the SA node, and then this is the AV node. So the rate goes from the SA node to the AV node, and then from there it goes into the left and right bundles, and then the left bundle becomes a left anterior and left posterior fascicle. The normal rate should be um, between 60 to 100. If it's more than 100, it's TAC. If it's less than 60, then it is Brady. This is Brady, this is the... Yeah. So, uh, anything coming from the SA node, it's called normal sinus rhythm. Anything outside of the SA node is just ectopic. So, for, if there's a focus here that is faster than the SA node, that will be an ectopic rhythm. If this becomes very fast, it will cause that, it will cause tachycardia, so it's more than 100. These P waves, may look different. This ectopic focus could be in the left side, could be in the right side, could be anywhere. If this ectopic is from below, it's going to have a different axis than the SA node. It's going to have a different axis from if it were from above. So this way, the P wave normally should be like this. Positive in 2, 3, and F, because these are these are the inferior leads, and anything going inferior should be positive. So let's say this focus was going up. So it's going up, so it's going to be negative in 2, 3, in AVF, because it's going up. It's going against uh, what it's supposed to be. This one, if coming from the SA notes, coming from above, above to below, so the inferior leads will be positive. And this one will be up there, going the other way, so like this, so it's going, so there'll be negative. All right, so now what happens if this SA node stops working? So the SA node, we said, it should go from 60 to 100. Now, what happens is that the AV node will take over. This is the AV node in here. And the AV node is about 40 to 60. So if somebody has, uh, the SA node is not working and the AV node takes over, the heart rate is probably going to be between 40 to 60. And this person is not going to have a P wave. It's just going to be junctional. Why? Because the heart rate is going to, it's, there's electricity going to go up and down at the same time. So you're going to have a QRS. And inside the QRS, there's a P wave that's going like this. So this one is not, you won't see the P wave most of the time. And this is called junctional. And that's as if it's coming from the AV node. All right, so now, what if the AV node also is messed up? And now you're going to have... Uh, the ventricle itself is going to try to save itself because it's not contracting. Now, a ventricular um, focus, or the, when the ventricle contracts, when the AV node and the SA node don't work, this one is about 20 to 40. So, and these are very wide. These would be like wide QRSs because they're coming from the ventricle. Anything that does not go through like this, like this, and through the normal conduction, will give you a wide complex, okay? All right, what is overdrive pacing? Overdrive pacing, so overdrive. It basically, it means it's just the law of the jungle. That means whoever is stronger takes over. So stronger equals to takes over. So this means that the fastest, so it always takes over. The SA node is from 60 to 100. So it takes over the AV node, which is 40 to 60, takes over the, a the ventricle, which is around 40, 20 to 40. So if this t does not work, this takes over. It does not work, this takes over. Okay, so what if there's a focus in here that is 200 beats per minute? So this focus takes over. It takes over the SA node, takes over this, takes over. So whoever is fastest will take over. 